My name's Josh Portlock. I studied mechatronic engineering at Curtin and I started my PhD in aerospace automation. I ended up focusing on flying robots and that's where I've led into my career as well. Uh, when I was young I realised I liked taking things apart, much to my parents' dismay. <laughs> They'd buy me a new toy and I'd uh, play with it for a few seconds before being curious about what was inside it. And uh, that sort of led me through high school uh, wanting to get into engineering, so doing all the uh, suitable maths and physics and whatnot. And um, I chose Curtin because it had a good reputation for practical engineering and um, really applied engineering to industry. During my degree, I really enjoyed the projects, particularly the final year project, and I developed a flying robot, which led me to the career path that I have today. I'm Chief Technology Officer at Scientific Aerospace. I founded that company and uh, we acquired a company I used to work for, Cyber Technology, that developed unmanned aircraft. So Scientific Aerospace uh, developed commercial grade UAVs or drones with aerial cameras and video capability for inspection, surveying and uh, various different industries requiring aerial imagery. We have some very interesting projects that we're working on at the moment, especially involving surveying high precision areas. So we're working closely with Landgate, a government surveying customer, to survey the beachlands and check for erosion. And that's been really interesting work. The most useful thing I took out of the degree at Curtin University was project management skills, particularly trading off between mechanical, electrical and software engineering and trying to find the optimal solution. Cybercoid has had a lot of commercial success in the civil industrial infrastructure inspection industries. Uh, this includes mining, oil and gas, power lines, communication towers, wherever there's high altitude assets that need inspecting. One great example is the work we've done with Woodside, where we can fly up with CyberQuad and visually inspect the flare tip while it's still live. So there's a large flame coming out the top, yet we can still safely inspect it without having to shut it down or risk sending people up. My aspirations for the future is scientific aerospace to be a world-leading provider of unmanned aerial robotics. And this includes the CyberQuad, but various other platforms and technologies that we're developing and integrating to provide solutions for end users.